This video will show you how to use the groundwater quality map, which is your gateway into the Environmental Data Management System, or EDMS for short. For more information about the EDMS system, visit the Idaho Department of Water Resources website. To use this system, you would first select points inside the water quality map and then access the EDMS system. The groundwater quality map can be found by going to idwr.idaho.gov and then clicking on the groundwater quality map. Notice that this map contains a lot of well sites. To see what those different colors mean, you can look at the legend by clicking on Change Layers, clicking on the submenu for the EDMS layer, and then viewing the legend. You can see that we have wells from a variety of sources on our map. There are different ways to navigate around this map. For example, you can use the zoom in and zoom out buttons. You can hold down the shift key and zoom to a specific area on the map by drawing a box. Or you can click the locate button and search by coordinates, street name, parcel number, public land survey description, stream name, or water right number. You can turn the background on and off by going to change layers and checking and unchecking the background layer. You can also change the background layer by clicking on the drop down and choosing a different background layer. To learn more about a specific well, you can click on the well on your map and it will show you a variety of information, for example, the site details, the depth, construction date, and a link to the construction well log, as well as a link to the water quality data inside the EDMS system. If you know the well name or number, you can use the search button. Pick the layer that you would like to search from and then type in a text string of the well that you're looking for. Click search. The results will show up in the results tab. You can use a query to search for data. You can specify a list of features by setting your search layer, the field, on which you are searching and then clicking query. Notice that your map zooms you there and shows the highlighted wells on your map. To see which ones which in the results tab, you can click on them and they will be further highlighted on your map. Notice that you can also search by geometry. Do this by clicking on the select by polygon button and then drawing a polygon on your map with the wells that you would like to have more information for. Under the results tab, you can click on the well log link to look at the log for each one of the different wells you've selected, or the water quality report for each one of those wells. Or you can click on this link button and view all the selected records in the EDMS system. Let's start by looking at the URL. When you scroll all the way to the right, you can see the names of the wells that you've selected. So I've shown you a way of getting this information into EDMS from the groundwater quality map. But for example, if you have a spreadsheet that contains a list of all the well names, you can turn this into a comma delimited string and edit it straight into your URL. So now that we have selected the wells that we would like to see more characteristics for, we need to tell it which characteristics we should display. Currently, only nitrate is displayed. You can choose from a list of possible characteristics on the left and move them to the ones that you would like to see. So for example, if you would like to see the acidity level, you can move this over. The buttons in the middle helps you to move over groups of information. For example, by clicking on the arrow to the right of physical properties, all the physical properties are moved over. If you're interested in looking at pesticides and herbicides, click the button next to it and you will see all the requested characteristics. To remove requested characteristics, simply click the arrow on the left. If you are not sure what the characteristic is called, you can use the Find Alias button. Type in the characters that you're looking for, choose Find, and it will give you a suggested list of characteristics. Notice that you can also turn characteristics on and off by clicking the characteristics type on the left. You can use a predefined query set, for example, by clicking all the heavy metals. You can also select a starting and ending year. Once you have made a selection, and I will parent mine down, in the tabs in the top right corner of your screen, you can view which wells you've selected in table form, which you can download as a CSV. When you go to view results, you can see the results in table format, which can be downloaded as a CSV file, or 
you can graph your data. The help button on your map gives you access to the quick notes, which has similar information as the video you're currently watching, but also contains a full manual with more information. Thank you for watching this video.